All right, everybody, welcome back to another update video. Uh, I was working on the interior this week. You saw in the thumbnail, maybe it's coming along. It's needs some work, but it's getting there. It's my first one. Um, I was thinking, though, how cool would it be to make the car even more interactive? As you know, that's my goal. And I thought, what if the car was locked? So I made him a little animation here, and he's just simply going to give up. And you know, he can't get in the car, he can try it again. And then I thought, how could we take that one step further? And I thought, well on my car, I have a key fob. So I thought I'd give him one, and he can just unlock his car from there. Now, he can get back in his car, and hopefully it'll work. There we go. And now he can drive off happily ever after. Alright? Which is kind of cool, you know. We'll bring him back here. Um, that's what I want in this project. I want a fully interactive vehicle. And that was something that I hadn't seen in a game before. So I thought, why not, you know. That's part of doing your own thing. And uh, then I thought, what if it was hot outside? And I remember the game Test Drive Unlimited. You guys might have played that. It's pretty popular. And uh, in that game, you can roll the windows down. I thought that was really cool. So I just added that in here. And uh, back windows aren't there yet, but they'll get there. And then I thought, well, what about the sunroof? It works too, right? So I added that in. And he can now drive around with his cool breeze and his bald hair, you know. Looking cool like all the Hollywood guys. Uh, but I also wanted it to work that way if he wasn't in his car because it just looks cool I don't know why but you know just having uh, having the windows open like that it kinda adds to the it's hot outside atmosphere you know but um that's as far as I got outside let's take a look at the inside okay here we are inside the car let's do a quick panoramic here Oop, that's not the right button uh, you see it is complete. I need some work on these doors, I just realized, but that's okay. Uh, I got a back seat here, center console, two front seats. I have, yeah, pretty much all of it is where it needs to be. Um, plans, I think I'm going to shorten up this console a little bit. It looks kind of like one of them Dodge truck console. <laughs> but other than that, it's... I'm, I'm proud of this. I mean, it's pretty cool. Turned out how I wanted it. And I think it's neat. These doors need fixed as well. But you know, you gotta, you gotta trial and error these things. And that's what I'm doing. I think it's cool. Uh, hopefully you guys do as well. Let me know what you think. One more thing I want to show you here. So the other thing I wanted to show you is really quick and simple. I just wanted to show that the uh, steering wheel does indeed turn with the wheels. I thought that was just too cool for school, huh? <clears throat> and that's pretty much the bulk of it. Uh, I guess I'll show you how he can relock the vehicle. And just to show you guys when you're done cruising for the day, you can exit your vehicle same as before. Get out your old key fob, lock it up, make sure that it's locked. Those griefers don't steal your car, you know, and then you're good to go. And that was this week, man, that's, that's what I've been up to. So thank you guys for stopping by, checking it out. Uh, I appreciate it. 